A mega beer merger is brewing. Anheuser-Busch is planning a takeover of its main rival, S.A.B. Miller. If this deal happens, it will be the biggest in brewing history, creating a company with sales of $55 billion. Well, if this makes you think about enjoying a bud today, you may want to know that one of the beer's ingredients is more than 100 years old. Technology correspondent Samuel Burke got a chance to go to the company's lab to find out more about that. Good morning, Samuel. Hey, Lynn. Good morning. Old beer probably sounds like something you would not want to drink, but for Budweiser, it turns out the older, the better. Every Budweiser in the world is brewed with yeast that's more than 100 years old. So the strain that we have now in-house that we make our Budweiser from is the same strain that goes back to the 1800s that Adolphus Bush began using when he started the brewery. Why from that same strain of yeast? We want every Budweiser to taste the same as it did back in the 1800s. When you use a different strain of yeast in your beer, then the beer tastes differently. The master strain is kept cryogenically frozen in liquid nitrogen and in time at Budweiser's main brewery in St. Louis. Every week, a one milliliter vial of the strain is extracted, thawed, and grown in these massive steel tanks into 100 barrels of fresh yeast. Then it's kegged, packed with ice, and shipped to breweries around the world. What would happen to this company if there were some type of explosion, God forbid, and that strain of yeast was lost? Well, in addition to all the strains that we keep here in-house, we also have um, our underground bunker. So all of our important mother strains are kept in a backup bunker. And who has access to that? Uh, I do. And who else? No one besides me. Is it kind of top secret? It is top secret, yes. The CEO of the company has even down there? No. The CEO of this company has not been down to the bunker where all this company originates from. No. He doesn't have clearance. Why is there so much secrecy around this bunker? Why can't we just go down there right now? This strain is important to us as a company. It's really about our heritage and our brewing process. The quality of that strain is the quality of Budweiser. So you guys just don't want to take any risk. You're afraid I might bring in germs or cooties or something. Absolutely. We cannot afford any risks to be taken with our yeast. On top of all that security, each batch of yeast is tested to make sure it's still genetically the same as its century-old ancestor. Modern day technology helps Budweiser cling to the past with this yeast to assure its flagship beer tastes just like the original. Lynn, I never could have imagined that going to a beer factory would actually turn out to look more like a field trip to a science lab. <laughs> but Lynn, I know you're going to have to wait a few more months until you're trying any 100-year-old beer. Unfortunately, yes, Samuel. Thanks so much.